Are you wondering about the educational prerequisite of becoming dentist in the US? Or curious about the specific exam or certification requirements for foreign trained dentists? Or let's say, are you worried about the duration and complexity of the accreditation process? Perhaps you're worried about learning the steps involved in obtaining a dental license in the United States. Well, stick around because we're about to answer these questions and more. Plus, we'll explore job prospects, potential hurdles, support systems available for foreign trained dentists. So if you're concerned about the time and the cost involved, get ready because we're about to debunk, meet, reveal insights, and empower you with the knowledge you need to kickstart your dental career in the US. Welcome to our video on becoming a dentist in the US. I will give you an ultimate guide to navigating the intricate path towards a rewarding dental career in this country. If you're a foreign trained dentist dreaming of practicing in the US, for from the gleaming skyscrapers of New York City to the sun-kissed shores of California, your journey to becoming a dentist in the US begins right here and right now. Burning questions and concerns provide you with a comprehensive roadmap to success from educational requirements to licensing procedure, job prospects, and potential challenges. We'll cover all this in this video. So let's dive deep and uncover the secrets to making your dental aspirations come true. Number one point is educational requirements in the US. Are you ready to unlock the doors to your dental career? Let's embark on the first step of your journey, understanding the educational requirements in the US. Get ready to lay the foundation of your future and your success. To practice dentistry in the US, aspiring dentists must complete specific educational prerequisites. This typically includes, you know, completing undergraduate course in sciences such as biology, chemistry, physics, followed by enrollment into a dental school, which a majority of you must have done that, which is accredited. And sometimes these schools need accreditation by the American Dental Association. I will leave the link in the description. Dental programs like Doctors of Dental Surgery or Doctor of Dental Medicine are common pathways to becoming a dentist in the US. Number two is exams and certification for foreign trained dentists, which concerns you. If you are prepared to conquer your next huddle to dental greatness, let's tackle exams and certification for foreign trained dentists. Get ready to showcase your skills and your expertise. Foreign trained dentists must demonstrate their proficiency by passing specific examination required for licensing in the US. And these um, exams often include the National Board Dental Examination, NBDE, Part 1 and Part 2, along with additional assessment to evaluate clinical skills. Moreover, language proficiency exams such as the Test of English as a foreign language TOEFL are essential for foreign trained dentists to ensure effective communications with patients and with colleagues and all regulatory bodies. And so you must be able to pass the part one and part two of these exams and pass TOEFL in order to be eligible to practice dentistry in the US. Number three is duration of the accreditation process. Time is of the essence in your pursuit to dental excellence. But just how long does the accreditation process take? Let's unveil the time and set you on a fast track for success in the US. Well, the duration of the credential evaluation process varies based on individual circumstances and perhaps from the, your country of origin. And these include um, circumstances like your educational background, your clinical experience, and completion of additional requirement. On average, the accreditation process may take several months to a few years to complete. And factors such as um, the need for additional coursework or clinical training may influence the timeline. So if you've not completed your process or you're just a freshman with no housemanship experience, then they might need some kind of clinical experience initially from you. So you want to get that sorted out. Steps to obtaining dental licensing in the US. Are you ready to take the lead to us licensure right now? Let's break down the steps you need to navigate. Are you prepared to embark on this exciting journey towards becoming a licensed dentist in the US? be it from the west to the east coast. The path to obtaining a dental license in the US involves several steps, including the submission of application completion of the required examination, such as the one we mentioned before, the NBDE, and licensure through state dental board. Additionally, dentists may need to fulfill specific requirements, such as completing continuing education course, 
to maintain licensure in that particular province. So once you come and you pass these exams, then you will get accredited by um, the NBDE and then you have to maintain to show that you continue practicing even when you are still in your home country. This is really one other important point that is usually very troubling. Number five, which is language proficiency. Communication is key in dentistry, but what about language proficiency? Let's explore how language skills play a crucial role in your journey towards dental success in the United States. Effective communication is essential in dental practice as dentists must communicate clearly with their patients and with their colleagues and staff, and such as foreign trained dentists are often required to demonstrate proficiency in English through language efficiency exams such as TOEFL or IELTS. A strong skill ensures effective patient care, collaboration, communication with staff and colleagues, and integration into the U.S. healthcare system. What are job prospects across different regions? Dreaming of making a difference in a diverse landscape across the U.S.? Let's explore the abundant job prospects awaiting you. Get ready to discover exciting opportunities to practice dentistry in various regions. So. Job prospects for dentists in the U.S. vary based on region and offering diverse opportunities for foreign trained dentists, some potential job opportunities will include the ones that will list right away. So there's private practice opportunities where establishing your own dental practice allows for autonomy and flexibility in practice. You can do whatever you want at a time. It could be group practice as well and joining a group practice enables collaboration with other dentists and access to shared resources. What of academic institutions? Well, teaching and conducting research in academic institutions provide opportunity for professional development and mentorship. And again, you have government agencies where you could literally work in these government agencies, such as the Department of Veterans Affairs or the Indian Health Service for stability and benefits. Also, you could work in stabilized clinics and working in stabilized clinics such as pediatric dentistry or orthopedics allows for focused patient care and expertise development. And again, you can start anywhere. You can start as a dental clerk, as a front desk agent, and I've left links to some opportunities and opening in the description. So please, you wanna check those out. And let's go to the seventh point, which is challenges that you face as a foreign trained dentist. Well, every journey has its own hurdles, but armed with knowledge, you conquer them all very easily. Let's shine some light on the specific challenges faced by foreign trained dentists when they come to the US like yourself. Foreign trained dentists may encounter challenges such as navigating licensure requirements, adapting to system differences, and establishing credibility in new hospital care systems. You know, it's difficult for you to just make new friends, it's difficult for you to adapt, it's difficult for you to just embrace the new systems. However, with perseverance and support, these obstacles can usually be overcome. So you just need to put in the hard work, as I always say, do not get discouraged. Focus, remember we've got a dream, and we need to achieve that dream. And number eight, support system and resource availability. No dentist is an island, of course, especially when you navigate the complexities of practicing in a new country. How about we explore the support system and, and resources available to guide you on your journey towards dental excellence in the US? There are several resources for foreign trained dentists and you can access a range of these resources, including professional organizations, mentorship programs, online forums and continuous education opportunities and i've left the links in the description so please you want to check those and these support systems provide invaluable guidance and networking opportunities throughout the accrediting process and even beyond and what of number nine difference in the accreditation process for dentists trained in different countries is there any difference well is the accreditation process a one size fit all approach for everyone from every country or are there nuances based on your country of origin? I think a lot of you have been asking this question so let's uncover the unique consideration for dentists trained in different countries. Is your country treated differently from others? Well, the accreditation process may vary based on the country where the dentists receive their education and training. Differences in curriculum, clinical experience, licensing requirements may impact the steps needed to achieve accreditation in the US. I've left the link in the description if you want to know for your specific countries, please you want to check that out. Or you can reach directly to the board of dentists in the US and they'll be able to answer you directly. And lastly, 
transferring credentials and qualifications. To make your credentials across borders valuable, is that even a thing? Well, let's unveil the intricacies of transferring your qualification as a foreign trained dentist to the United States because your journey towards center excellence has to be without borders. Transferring credentials and qualifications as a foreign trained dentist involves a comprehensive evaluation of credentials, including academic transcript, clinical experience and licensure status. Credentialing agencies assess equivalencies and determine the steps needed to achieve licensure in the U.S. and they facilitate a smooth transition into the American dental workforce and this is really important. So if you're somewhere within all of this and you are doubting in terms of what you need, please leave a comment in the section, ask us your question and we'll be able to get directly right to you. Also, if you've liked this video on how to become a dentist in the U.S., then you also like this one. Watch this video on how to become a physician in Canada. Thank you very much. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.